Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. So that was the Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on abortion rights, it was titled, A post Roe America, the Legal Consequences of the Dobbs Decision. And the point of the hearing wasn't just to focus on abortion rights, they also wanted to focus on the fact that you have right wing zealots, right wing theocrats in the Supreme Court who lied under oath as they were undergoing their confirmation hearings and they said that Roe v. Wade and reproductive freedom was already They've determined this is the law of the land, we're not gonna touch it. First thing they do is they reverse it, of course. So they were going to explore that, very important issues. Especially in the new climate that we're living in where a 10 year old gets raped in Ohio, gets pregnant as a result of that rape and has to travel out of state to Indiana to get an abortion. Okay, so this is an important issue and bad faith, Right wing culture war manufacturers like Josh Hawley decide to hijack this important hearing to, of course, create more content that they can use to campaign on. That's what this was about. And I think the way that Kiara Bridges, who's the expert testifying there, the way she handled it was. I think it was fantastic. It was masterful. Because she dismissed, she, she was informative, but more importantly, she dismissed him. And he, along with other Republican lawmakers, deserve to be dismissed on this issue, because it's bad faith. They know, they know there's a difference between gender and sex. They know that it is very possible for someone to be born a biological male or, or a biological female, but in terms of gender identify, differently as a male or non-binary, but they still have the biological capacity, the physical capacity to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So that's why the language, the rhetoric is inclusive to include those people. It is not a big deal, but they make it a big deal. They manufacture it into a big deal because that's all Republicans are. That's all they have, this is all they do. Endless bad faith arguments meant to fear monger and direct hatred and fear toward other Americans, typically powerless Americans. While they rob you blind, by the way, while they enable corporations to rob you blind. Yep. That's what this is about. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I'm so freaking sick of it. Yeah, the one blessing we have is that he's particularly bad at it. He, <sighs> he thought he thought he came equipped. He thought he was loaded for bear. Do, do you mean? Do you mean women? And she had a no. Like you think. You think that your live test, your live questioning of this expert is gonna be like Matt Walsh's like carefully edited little thing that he put together? You think that's how that's gonna work out for you? No, see, you're a pretend intellect, she's an actual intellect. There's a difference between the two, it's just demonstrated in that video. Um, he can't dispute anything that she says, and much more importantly, he knows the difference between sex and gender. There are some that are so stupid that they can't actually grasp the difference between biology and a social construct of gender. But he understands it, but he also understands what party he's in. And there is a lot that you have to pretend not to understand to be a successful Republican. Yeah. He's not great at it, he's not even great at doing the pretending. And he's doing it for the reasons that you identified. Like if you're a Republican, if you're a conservative, you're watching this. And maybe you clicked on it because like your whole life has become hating trans people, like a guy who would spend his time doing what you just saw, do you think he gives a damn about your wages, seriously? Do you think this is a person that cares whether you're ever able to own a home? Or like really, do you think he cares if you retire? Like please tell, tell, don't tell me that you actually believe that Josh Hawley cares if you suffer medical bankruptcy someday. If you can afford insulin month to month, you know that he doesn't. You know that this is a substitute for all of that. A poor substitute, poorly delivered, but that's what it's intended to do. I just, I can't stomach how easy it is 
to manipulate Americans with mm -hmm. this garbage. Yeah. I mean, the right? Democrats Look, have their own version of it. Understandably, yes, of course, Democrats have their own version of that. I'm working on an entire book about it. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to promote it until there's uh, some realistic dates that I can throw your way. But nonetheless, moving along. No, I mean, this is people are angry right now. Yeah. People are furious. People see the country falling apart. Our institutions are failing us, our institutions have been gutted, dismantled. People are terrified about the future. Inflation is definitely impacting people. Like These are very real concerns. But I just want Republican voters, listen, you're scared of transgender people, okay, they're not, they're not doing any harm, they're not causing any harm, but sure, fine, you're scared of them. But you should be like the frustration you're feeling in America right now, the stuff that actually impacts your life on a daily basis, those are issues that are caused by the Republican lawmakers you support and allow to scare you about literally the, the least powerful people in the country. Mm -hmm. Literally. Like, what? This is what I want to understand. Why is it so hard to just refer to someone the way they want to be referred to? Why is it so hard? It takes no effort, it takes zero effort. But somehow, Republican lawmakers have manipulated the minds of American voters, particularly those on the right, to think this is an issue they should fight to the death. Yep. This is the most important issue. You are being robbed, you're being robbed by the very lawmakers who are distracting you with nonstop culture war garbage, nonstop, yeah. nonstop. It has no effect on your life other than maybe briefly being a little bit of an inconvenience, I guess, by referring to them with the pronoun they prefer. Yep. That's it, that's all it is. You know you probably pay a lot more percentage wise in taxes than the wealthy people that fund Josh Hawley's campaign. Do you know about that? Do you care about that? Why is it that the wealthiest people in this country pay way less in federal taxes than you do? Why? Why is income inequality a massive problem that continue, that disparity continues to explode in this country? Yep. Why is the middle class disappearing? Is it because of transgender people? Yeah. I'm, I'm just, listen, we might disagree politically on a whole host of issues, I get it. I just want American voters across the board, across the board, Democrats and Republicans to understand that these bad faith arguments that demonize powerless people, and by the way, the media takes part in it as well, are specifically meant to distract you from the fact that you're being robbed blind. That's it, that's what this is about. There's more in this interaction I wanna to get to, so let's watch the next video. Your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important- Because of my line of questioning? Because- So we can't talk about it? Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist- I'm denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking are you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think women can <laughs> so get pregnant. So you're denying that trans people exist? That's what he's doing. Yeah, and look. I want to make a distinction here, right? Because Josh Hawley is different from an ordinary person who maybe is not privy to these debates or these conversations, maybe doesn't know much about the transgender community and is confused by you know, some of the language that's used by people who wanna be as inclusive as possible. There are people out there who just don't know and they might, there might be a misstep here and there and they just be calm, explain to them, right? They're asking legitimate questions. I wanna differentiate Normal people who might not know, who genuinely just want to ask questions because they're curious, they want to be informed. Sure. There is a difference between those people. I don't think those people are advocating for violence toward transgender people. But we're not talking about that here. We're talking about Josh Hawley, who, you know, contrary to what he's presenting himself as in that video, is not a moron. 
and is engaging in a bad faith line of questioning to essentially demonize. Like, by the way, I don't even know how many pregnant transgender males there are out there. I don't know, right? I don't know the numbers, but they exist. And he knows they exist, right? He knows there's a difference between biology and gender. He knows, he he's, knows. He's pretending, that's all it is. That's all it is, it's all bad faith garbage. And I'm so tired of these hearings being hijacked by these garbage lawmakers who wanna give you the illusion of governing. They wanna give you the illusion of legislating. They wanna make it seem like they're actually doing something for you. When in reality, they're wasting time as Women in this country are dealing with pregnancies as a result of rape and can't do a damn thing about it because they live in a draconian red state that has stripped them of their reproductive rights. That is what this hearing is about. It's not about your bad faith, fear mongering arguments toward the trans community. Wrap it up. But more importantly, voters, please be smarter than this. Because again, you're being raw blind. You're being raw blind by people like Josh Hawley enabling these disgusting corporations who rob us day in, day out.